Yo, what is going on ladies and gentlemen of the interweb? My name is of course Cam and Joe. Welcome back everybody to another brand new video on the channel guys. Today of course we are back covering some new Minecraft content and today I'm going to be teaching you how to actually download your Minecraft Bedrock Edition worlds from online places like MCPE or Minecraft Planet or all these other kind of places and whatnot. So yeah, let's just get right into it. So there's two different types of Minecraft files that you can download. You will normally either download a Minecraft compressed file like this one right here that you guys should be seeing at the top right of the screen or if, I'm not, if it's not a file like that, excuse me, it'll be a file like this. And what this file is basically is a Minecraft.mc file. And this is explicitly just for Java Edition, or excuse me, just for Baroque Edition, my apologies. And what the difference between these two files is, is that if you download a Minecraft.mc world, that means that if I double click like this, as you guys should see, it will immediately load up Minecraft and also show the icon along with the name. So as you can see, we're loading up Minecraft Barrel Condition, and as soon as it loads up, it most likely will import the world as you'll see the very top left hand corner right there, level import started. What this basically is, is it initially just immediately imports the world. As you can see right here, here's the actual uh, battle lobby. This is one I'm gonna be covering in the future. Um, but right here, as you can see, you know, you can play in this world right away. It's imported, it's all fully there and you know, you're good to go. But what if you don't have a file like this? What if you have a compressed Minecraft Barrel Condition world file? Well, if that's the case, I've got this tutorial right here just for you. So first of all, we're gonna wanna get our actual Barrel Condition file. And this is what our Barrel file is right here. It's an actual uh, old Minecraft minigame lobby uh, from 2000. 2016 just exclusively for barrel condition i'm making a video about it by the way it's coming out tomorrow so stay tuned <clears throat> But basically, this is a compressed zipped folder. So what you want to do, first of all, it's really easy, really, easy, really simple. We're going to actually delete this old one real quick. This is the exact same file, just unzipped, so we don't have to deal with that. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to click on the file, click right, obviously, of course, on your mouse, and then look for a button that says Extract All. You're going to click that. You're going to click Accept here, or just Extract. From there, it's going to Extract, and you're going to open up the entire file right here. As you can see, there is right there. And what you want to do is this can be extracted into our desktop, by the way. I don't know about you guys. If you downloaded it to your desktop, it should be there. If it's downloaded in your, you know, downloads area or whatnot, it'll be the exact same, right? But once you've got the file, you want to click on it. You're going to want to click right click again and just simply copy it. That's all you want to do. That's like legitimately everything you want to do right there. Click copy, close this down right here. And that's us. We're back on the actual main, obviously, home screen of our PC. Now, as you can see, this is the actual file that's right there, but except from it's unzipped. And uh, let's actually show you guys how to get to your actual Minecraft Barrel Condition Worlds folder or file save area or location, okay? So you're, what you're gonna want to do right here is click either the Windows icon or go into the Windows search bar and simply just type the words run, all right? Or the word run, excuse me. Then click obviously enter. From here, you'll be presented with a little open, like a little open text area. And you're gonna wanna just put percentage app data percentage or app data percentage, excuse me. From there, just click OK. And all the steps, by the way, for this will be written down below. So don't worry if I'm going a little bit too fast. Just, you know, again, it's all written down below. I'm just trying to make this as good for you as possible, all right? From here, you'll see your actual PC username. So mine's a Catman Joe. Then app data, then roaming. Now, we do not want to be here. Um, in the roaming section, as you can see, you'll see a file called .minecraft. That actually is for Java edition. If you don't have Java, you won't see it. But if you do, that's how you'd get to your Java worlds folder. And it's a little bit more complicated to get to that. I'm making a video on that tomorrow. So stay tuned for that if you're interested. But we're going to want to go back and click app data, like, like you know, right here. And you're going to see local, local, low, roaming. You're going to want to click on local. And then from here, what you're going to want to do is go down to packages. All right, click packages. And you're going to see this massive intimidating screen of all these different little files and folders. Now, don't worry, what we're looking for is very easy to find. In fact, it's on the screen right now, but you probably can't see it because it's not the best of quality, all right? You're gonna wanna look for a file called Microsoft.Minecraft UWP. Now, it might be different than the UWP part, but normally it's just titled under Microsoft.Minecraft. You're gonna wanna double click on that, like so. And then from here, you're gonna wanna go to local state. Now you'll see, you know, AC, app data, local catch etc. et cetera. Click local state, double click that. From there, we're gonna go to games. From games, you're going to see com.mojang. You're going to click on that. And from here, you're going to see Minecraft Worlds and Behavior Packs and Minecraft PE and all these other things. Now, if you want to look into all these other things, that's entirely up to you. But we're just looking for Minecraft Worlds. This is the main folder where your Minecraft World will actually be. And as you can see, I've already got the one that we just opened up. That's the battle lobby that we just went into just a moment ago. The Minecraft.m actual, excuse me, the Minecraft.m actual folder or file. And we've also got the old mini game, you know, lobby, the one that we're actually gonna be going on today. So I'm gonna delete that just to show you guys how this works. And uh, that says I only just got one world on our barrel condition, all right? So I will also suggest real quick, 
when you do get to this part right here, right? And you can see the minecraft.worlds folder or minecraft worlds folder, excuse me. What you want to do is right click and put pen to access or put pen to quick access, excuse me. That's basically right here. As you can see, it's like a little pen. And um, it just means that it's for convenience sake, whenever you want to get back to your Minecraft Bedrock, you know, actual folder or file area, you can just really easily, as opposed to having to search it all, you know, you can just go like this right here down to the file explorer area. And you'll see, you know, like for here, I've got thumbnails and, you know, Minecraft worlds, and that's my actual um, Minecraft Java world folder right there. But this is my Bedrock one right here, right? So what we're going to do anyway, is once we're in here, you're going to want to just simply just paste that actual folder that we copied earlier on, okay? Paste that in, as you can see, there it is right there. And now from here, you can just close this right back down, bada bing, bada boom, reload up your barrel condition like so, and we're good to go. That, that's legitimately it, that's how simple it is. Now, I'm sure when you're doing this for the first time, it's very intimidating. It's almost like this seems a little bit too difficult, Joe. I don't really understand this, can you slow down? Listen, once you've done it a few times, you get more than used to it. For me, my first time doing it, and I'm still, yeah, I'm still quite relatively new to it, but my first time doing it was quite intimidating also. So don't worry about the intimidating part of it. You'll get past that, right? But as you can see right here, all the minigame lobby, this is a world that we just, you know, brought into the actual, the, you know, the game itself. That's our file. We can load this up and easy peasy lemon squeezy. You'll see the world will load any second right now. And we're good. Like that's legitimately how easy it is right now. As you guys can see, we can sit and play, do whatever we want. And the world's right here. It's that easy. It's right, you know, right for the picking. That's what you could say, I suppose. Um, but that's how simple it is, guys. That's really how easy it is to do this. Again, if you do have a Minecraft.mc file, I'll probably make a video on how those work as well in case anybody wants one. They're very simple because for those, as you can see, you know, that's a big difference. With a normal world folder or file, it looks like this. It's just a, you know, a plain old folder, right? But for an MC file, you can just double click on it and it just loads up Minecraft. And the easiest way to tell the difference is, of course, this one's little icon is a file or a folder. And this one's is just the actual Minecraft logo. And that's how you tell the difference between an MC file and a normal just Minecraft file folder. So yeah, guys, anyway, I hope this video did go to help you all. If it did, please be sure to go drop a like in it and subscribe if you're new. Try and help me reach my goal of 100,000 subscribers. And uh, stay tuned. I've got some great videos coming soon, guys. I hope you really did go to enjoy this. If you did, please be sure to drop a like in it, subscribe, and let me know what other kind of videos you guys like for me to, I guess, make overall. If you want me to make a Java version of this, uh, or again, an MC version to show you how to download the MC worlds. However, those are incredibly straightforward and simple, but I don't mind making one just in case you want one. But uh, you guys, thank you for watching today's video. Stay awesome, stay beautiful, stay incredible. And I'll see you guys all in the next video, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace, peace.